east northeasterly fashion and it's moving rather quickly around 40 miles per hour so that's going to be headed off um, to the east and there's some of the places that will be impacted here cliver at 456 so it's already passing over the top of you right now ashland you have about six minutes to get where you need to be. Guthrie at 517, Holt Summit at 520, Mocane 537, Portland at 548. We'll go ahead and send it back and kind of recap what we do have going on. If we can kind of pull out and see the bigger picture here and let's just go ahead and recap all the different warnings that we have going on. You'll notice down here by the Lake of the Ozarks counties, we have Camden, County. We also have Morgan County and Millers County. Those are all under a severe thunderstorm warning, and I believe those are going until 5, if we can go ahead and get that up there, or 530 rather for Miller, for Morgan County 530, and I believe Camden County is 530 now as well. A little bit further up to the north where we have seen this uh, current cell going on right now. If we can go ahead and put uh, the timing on the remaining counties that we do have. I know the tornado warning um, and th severe thunderstorm warning actually associated with that as well. For Cole and Montauk counties, that is going until 530. We are going to be on the air until this warning does cease to exist because there's a lot of people that will be impacted and this is getting ready to actually push off into southern sections of Boone County where we have seen that rotation and the areas like Eric was telling you, Hartsburg, you guys need to be down in a place of shelter and away from the windows and eventually that will move in on into Ashland and Southern Boone County as well if this does continue to hold together and like I said we have seen that rotation we are seeing it here on the radar and we've also seen it on our sky cams a lowering cloud base that has had some circulation going on so that's just kind of a recap of what we do have going on outside well why the severe weather well it is spring we did have a lot of moisture build in during the morning hours and if you were up early with us. We were tracking some of that severe weather between 830 and about 11 a.m. had several severe thunderstorm warnings that ripped through central sections of the state and that cooled things off just a little bit and we had a lot of moisture built at the surface. Well, moisture is just one of the many things that you need to prompt severe thunderstorms to form out across the area. So we had the moisture in place. We have a lifting mechanism. Then that would be the cold front that is pushing through the state right now. And as you have that cold air mixing with the warmer, well, the cold air is going to hug down to the lowest portion of the surface and that's going to make that warm air rise above it. So as you get that warm air rising within the atmosphere, that's going to be building those clouds up higher and higher into a cumulonimbus cloud, which is the severe weather cloud that you are seeing here in that storm system right now. So that's more or less what we've had going on throughout the day. Warm, warm temperatures down by the Lake of the Ozarks counties and we actually just saw, I believe that's Cooper County got dropped now so that five o'clock at the top of the hour, still holding strong with the tornado warnings. And like I said, if you live in California, you need to be in your basement right now. Clarksburg, you should already have been in your basement. Jamestown, Centertown, St. Martin's could all be in the path of the storm. Eric, do we have some new information? Um, actually, Michelle, want to take a, a look here. This is our uh, Sedalia area sky cam. Actually, it's uh, across northern Morgan County, right along Highway 50 here. And uh, this is looking off to the east. So this is actually what we were just showing you on live Doppler 8 first alert radar. So obviously very dark and uh, very um, eerie looking. And that, that eeriness that you see is actually, and this is a very interesting, it's actually the reflection of the hail from the sun and those, that's why the sky has this very eerie yellow greenish look to it. Um, and that is just the sunlight that's hitting into the hail and then the hail is sending that light back on up into the sky. And so that's why we have this eerie looking skyline out there. And in fact, that's always a very good indication that you have some significant pieces of ice up in the atmosphere that are about ready to fall, otherwise known as hail. So that's what we have looking at here. Again, this is looking east here on Highway 50. Um, Lindsay, let's take it back to live Doppler 8 first alert radar here real quick if we can. Uh, and now the hail threat has really shifted now back on into southwestern Boone County here. And we're going to start to uh, strike up a uh, conversation with the folks over at the National Weather Service here in St. Louis and see if they plan on issuing any severe thunderstorm warnings for at least southern Boone County. Um, again, not so much of a tornado threat for southern Boone County right now, but a hail threat. And the hail that we have across parts of uh, central uh, Montauk County, and this is updated about 
10 minutes ago. Baseball sized hail here right along Highway 50. So that's why we get the picture in the first alert weather cam here that we just showed you of that eerie looking sky. And for those of you that live in central Montauk County between Tipton and California, you certainly do know what I'm talking about. Um, had a, a report here though of a very strong rotation near California. Nick, if we could go back to the uh, reflectivity here on the uh, radar scope there and zoom into Montauk County. Strong rotation near California. Doesn't necessarily mean that we have a tornado that's on the ground. However, it's going to be uh, right there in California, just to the north and just to the west, north-northwest, right in that circle is where we would expect to find um, rotation there. So again, south of Jamestown, Jamestown, you're getting hit with the hail. It's gonna be right around California here that we uh, are gonna be watching for uh, any rotation. Uh, and we have had reports of that uh, this evening here. So uh, again, moving to the east now at 40. Earlier, a lot of these showers and thunderstorms were moving um, to the uh, east at 50. So they're starting to slow down. Uh, a new message here. Um, from the emergency manager from uh, Montauk County. Two inch hail was reported eight miles north of California. So again, right around uh, the Jamestown area here. Uh, a trained weather spotter in California or north of California reported uh, egg sized hail. That's gonna be about two inches here at five o'clock. So three minutes to go. So again, Southern Boone County. I'm really surprised that there's not a severe thunderstorm warning for that. I'm gonna get on the uh, uh, news feed here and talk to the folks over at the weather service and try to figure out what's going on here. But uh, some very impressive hail moving into uh, northern Montauk County and southern Boone County here this evening. So if you live in Ashland, if you live in Hartsburg and any other small communities here between Columbia and Jefferson City on US Highway 63, hail is your biggest concern. Let's say you know someone that's going to be heading north or southbound on Highway 63 on their way home from work this evening. Call them now and tell them to stay where they are. Tell them to stay away from Highway 63 between Columbia and the state capitol because that whole stretch of area, especially between Ashland and uh, let's say Holt Summit, is going to be pelted with large hail very sizable hail coming up in the next half an hour. So besides the threat for the uh, rotation, which we do have right around California, hail is our next biggest threat followed by wind. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Nick put some uh, towns that will be in the path of these uh, storms and uh, we'll be moving on to, uh, let's say, uh, Stedman by 534. So now over across Callaway County, Holt Summit by 520. Um, Elston by 512 and of course right now we already know that this storm is moving right through California with very strong rotation. So that's kind of what we have going on. Michelle, I'll send it back to you and uh, in the meantime, I'll uh, try to coordinate some uh, things with the folks over at the National Weather Service in St. Louis. Yeah, that sounds good. And just let me know if we have any new information coming on in. We'll send it back to the maps and just remind everyone strong rotation associated with this. Just about oh half hour or so ago, we started to see a little rotation within this storm system as it kind of moves across central Missouri. And you'll notice these cells are very distinct. And then you can see them kind of individual one right here, one starting to break apart a little further to the north. This is the three hour span of what we do have going on and you can kind of see where these supercells developed out in the Sedalia area and they actually started to split apart into two distinct cells here as they moved a little closer to the Columbia area. So one is going a little further to the north and one is staying a little further to the south and that is the strongest storm that we do have and that is the one that has prompted these tornado warnings for us here in central Missouri for both Montauk and Cole counties. If you have a report or it has passed your area and you saw something, you have reports of hail, we want to know so does National Weather Service and so do your emergency managers for your county. So go ahead, give them a call. You can go ahead and call our newsroom and let us know if you do have damage. We would definitely like to know that so we can kind of follow up on that and take a look at what we do have going on out there. So you can call our newsroom at 573-884-6397. We'll go ahead and zoom on in again to the area. Let's go ahead and the southern half of the viewing area right here. Continuing, we actually have now a severe thunderstorm warning and effect for Rolla as that storm cell rides right along I-44. Still seeing a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for the Lake Counties down by Camden, Morgan, and also Miller Counties. Those still in effect until 530. And obviously the tornado warning still going until 530. Will they continue into Southern Boone County? Well, we just don't know yet. I think Eric's still kind of checking with them. 
haven't heard back from National Weather Service. Clearly, they're a little bit on the busy side, just like we are. So we'll kind of wait it out and have some patience here as we continue to see this storm uh, still pretty pretty intense out there. If we can actually send it, can we do the 3D radar by chance, Nick, and just kind of show you the level of these tops as we head through. There we go. Take a look at that. Live Doppler 8 first alert radar in 3D. These storm tops, very, very impressive. I would imagine they are anywhere between 45 to about 55,000 feet in some locations at their highest point at least. So very dangerous situations and usually the higher tops that you get, the better circulation you have within that cloud and that's going to produce larger hailstones and that's the reason that we've had several warnings prompted because we have hailstones up to about two inches in size like Eric just had told you and I've seen several reports of golf ball size hail associated with many of these storms even with the tornado warned area so like I said right about 45,000 feet just below it, and those will continue to build, especially if they continue to hit a warmer air mass out across the area, and that'll definitely be the case as it moves through the southern viewing area. Eric, do you have some news for us? Uh-huh. Uh, right now in our first alert weather cam, um, Lindsay is actually going to start to switch our uh, Jefferson City Sky Cam back to the north and west. We have a uh, very large rotating wall cloud that's five miles north northwest of Jefferson City and so Lindsay this is I think looking north so we still need to keep going over a little bit here to the uh, west here but a, a very large rotating wall cloud uh, five miles northwest of Jefferson City um, I talked to the folks over at the Weather Service office in St. Louis and they are aware of the fact that there's two and a half inch sized hail falling in southern Boone County. I would imagine a warning will be forthcoming here uh, for at least southern Boone County here momentarily. But um, again, this is going to be looking, uh, of course, there's the Missouri River there in the middle of the screen. So we're looking uh, west, northwest. Yeah, let's keep going a little bit here. Um, again, large rotating wall cloud. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. Keep going, Lindsay. Let's see if we can zoom out just a little bit. Right, right here in the middle. That's stop, 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 stop. Whoa, 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 Lindsay, let's go back. <laughs> let's, let's put an emergency brake on that guy. Let's go back to the right here just a little bit. We're, this is what we're looking for. Keep going, keep going, just a little bit, just a little bit more. Okay, it's going to be this, this, this thing right here in the middle, and this is our, our rotating wall cloud. Um, there's circulation that's going to be going on. And if you look close, in fact, maybe we can take this full screen. There we go. Um, if you look really close in there, we should be able to see some sort of rotation. That's the wall cloud we're talking about. Now, there's not a tornado threat, or at least right now. There's no visible funnel cloud. You cannot see a tornado. But the fact that we have this lowering in the middle of your screen right here, the fact that that's starting to lower and it's starting to rotate, that's a problem, and if this rotation can extend all the way down to the surface, which and sometimes it does, most of the time it does not, but sometimes it does, if that can extend all the way down to the surface, we have a tornado. And we have all of the ingredients that are coming together just perfectly here uh, for, uh, for really for this wall cloud to extend all the way down to the ground. So this is what we're really going to be on the lookout for. Off to the right, over here in this area, so right along the Missouri River, that's where we have the hail. So, uh, again, egg-sized hail, everything is going to be kind of in that area. Um, but let's not move the, uh, the sky cam here from this point, at least at this point. We're, we're going to have to watch this area rather closely here. Um, some more information here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Montauk County at uh, 507, there was a trained weather spotter that reported a funnel cloud right around uh, McGurk, which is right near California. That's moving east at 45. That's with this storm here that we have on our first alert weather cam. Again, we're, we're looking off to the west here. Um, at Centertown, which is in uh, Montauk County, four miles west of there actually, 509, so two minutes ago, uh, trained weather spotters reported a funnel cloud and uh, reserved a observed rather a funnel cloud just to the west so it's going to be in this general area right around in here so um, let's take it back to live Doppler 8 first alert radar though real quick here save that shot Lindsay we're, we're going to uh, certainly check back on the uh, first alert weather cam that we have down there Nick if we can zoom out on this guy just a little bit here uh, the, the, the center of circulation uh, associated with this storm is going to be uh, just right around Hartsburg, just to the west of Hartsburg. So the storm should, in theory, 
stay just to the north of Highway 50, just to the north of the capital city here. But it still is going to move into southern Boone County here. Um, it's about four, five miles to the west of Hartsburg. That's where we have this uh, strong center of circulation where we've also received reports of funnel clouds. So again, uh, the northwest tip of Cole County, southern Boone County, you're under the gun. Even though there's not a warning for southern Boone County, I would seek shelter right now. Go to your safe place. Go to uh, an um, interior room. Uh, if you live in a house without a basement, that's okay. Go to a center room. Take uh, blankets, pillows, something put on top of you. Make sure that you're, you're safe. Again, if you live in southern Boone County, you need to seek shelter right now. There's no official warning for Boone County, but you need to seek shelter here. At the very least, we have hail that's going to be egg-sized falling. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Michelle. Up to tennis ball-sized hail uh, falling uh, between Deer Park, Pierpont, and Ashland here. And uh, that's, that's our big severe weather threat. Michelle, I'm going to talk to the weather service again. I'll yeah. let you take it here from All right, we're going to go ahead here. and put the storm track. Oh, there we just saw Callaway and Southern Boone County go under the tornado warning. And we obviously saw that there on the sky cam. And we are one of the luckiest stations here in mid-Missouri because we have about eight or nine of those things. And that allows us to be the eyes of mid-Missouri. And that's awesome that we actually were seeing a very, very strong rotation associated with that. And we're going to want to come back to that sky cam in just a bit. But if we could go ahead and put that, um, actually, Nick, if we can go back and put that storm track on it just to show the area and how uh, big of an area is affected. Now, remember, this is southern sections of Boone County. And that's going to be moving into southwestern um, Callaway County and just to the north of the Jefferson City area. That is where that rotation has been spotted. Like I said, they have been seeing hail up to tennis ball size. That is massive hail. You cannot be outdoors with that. You should not be driving on the roadways with that. I know Eric said, if you know anybody traveling on Highway 63 from home, call them immediately. Tell them to get off the road because this is a very, very dangerous situation, especially because we have been watching that rotating wall cloud out there. So if you live in Guthrie, 514, you need to be down in your basement right now because it's right over the top of you. 521 for Holt Summit. We are going to see Mocaine under the gun. 531, 534 for Reform. Chamoy at 537 Americus at 548 550 for Gasconade or for Gasconade and Gasconade County is that if this continues to hold together and push to the east at about 50 miles per hour now um, Lindsay if we could actually go back and see if we can't see any more rotation there on that sky cam I'd love to take a look because as Eric was talking about that we are definitely seeing a very strong rotation associated with that and you can still see the uh, base of that cloud dipping down there and if I could actually would I be able to walk on over the sky cam? Well, that, that won't work right now. Okay. Well, it is off in the right-hand side of your screen. If you're taking a look, you can see the base of that cloud has dipped down, and you're also seeing some of that hail and some of the rain further off on the extreme right side of your screen right now. We are currently hearing the tornado sirens going off here in Boone County because we are just to the south of the Columbia area here on Highway 63. The folks in Ashland need to be in a safe place. Hartsburg, you need to be down in the basement already. New Bloomfield will be impacted. Um, also, Holt Summit. Eventually, this is going to be moving out of Boone County into Fulton and also Mocaine um, and Jefferson City as well. And if we go ahead and walk on here, this this is the circulation that we are currently seeing here on our sky cam that uh, you can see here. Just this little dip of the cloud. It's just kind of barely touched down, and you can also see some of these finger-like protrusions from the base of the cloud, right? Um, just to the uh, northeast of the Jefferson City area. So that is where we are currently seeing some of that rotation. And you can kind of see, uh, I know it's a little difficult because we're a little far away from this cell, but you can definitely see and definitely start to see some of these clouds dipping down and they are spinning rather quickly. And uh, there's quite a bit of rotation going on with that because when Eric was discussing that with you guys and talking about it, we were definitely able to see uh, that rotation and it's very, very strong, even though it's very far away. And you can definitely see those, those finger-like protrusions just coming down, dipping down from the base of that cloud. And that is the reason that those tornado warnings have been prompted because we have seen funnel clouds associated with this particular cell for quite some time. In 
and we're going to continue to do so. So I can actually, can we send it back to live Doppler eight first alert radar by chance so we can kind of take a look now that we've shown you what's going on outside. Here's a look at the radar. Currently, we are still having Montauk and Cole counties um, under a tornado warning that goes until 530. What is the timing for Boone County and Callaway County? Can I get a time that that six o'clock? So for the next 45 minutes or so, um, southern sections of Boone County as that pushes off into Callaway County will be under the gun. Eric, do you have some new information for us? I um, want to let everyone know um, I've got a few text messages and uh, seen a few things that people are wondering about the tornado sirens that you are hearing in Columbia and want to just make sure we're all on the same page here is that the tornado warning that we're talking about is only for southern Boone County. So uh, if you live in Columbia, you have no reason to be alarmed. No, no tornado is going to be moving through southern Columbia or any parts of the city here. So I want to make sure that we're, we're on the same page there. Hail and winds, yes, but there is not an immediate threat for tornadoes in Columbia. It's going to be off to the south here. So we're talking south of Ashland. We're talking about uh, northern and uh, northwestern parts of Cole County and now extending back on into mainly southern and uh, western sections of uh, Callaway County. So if you live south of Fulton, if you live south of Ashland, if you live uh, right around Holt Summit, it's within this area here between Ashland, Fulton, Holt Summit, Lake Mikey, north of Jefferson City. There's a little community there called Cedar City. These are the areas that really need to be on the lookout for rotation. And I think if, if we could go back here to our first alert weather cam in Jefferson City, um, we'll see if we can't have any more rotation. And then we'll send it over to uh, Sarah. She has a little bit more information. Lindsay, let's pan this to the right just a little bit if we can. And uh, we'll see if, if we have uh, any more uh, circulations or any more uh, wall clouds here associated with that. Okay, just just, just one second. Um, I, I tell you what, while we're waiting to get the first alert weather cam set up, let's send it over here to Sarah. Sarah, do you have uh, any information? We do. Here? This is actually a picture from um, the Tipton area taken about 4.45 p.m. uploaded to our Facebook page from Carmen Nichols. So people are coming out of their basements um, wisely after they sought shelter and uploading some pictures. We want to see more pictures in your neighborhood. We're also getting reports of lots of hail in, in the lake area. So some people are sending us um, some of those photos as well. So go to our Facebook page, go to our Twitter pages out as well, and let us, you all, be our eyes and ears on reporting this storm. Michelle? Sarah, that's actually what you're seeing right there. It's a funnel cloud. Now, you don't actually have the rotation at the surface. Well, at least we can't see because there is a tree line in the way there, but a funnel cloud, more or less, it's just a protrusion from the clouds coming down out of the base of the cloud. It's obviously rotating. I know this is a still photo that was yeah, obviously so. sent to us. However, there is rotation going on and there was rotation associated with this and this is the reason that those tornado warnings were prompted around the Tipton area and as this storm continues to develop and move further off to the east we have continued to see some of that rotation and are we actually seeing that on the sky cam anymore? Um, not not really I think we have a lot of rain that's uh, in the area here but if, if there's any rotation and we have to assume that we still have some it's going to be located right around in this general area which is going to be right on the Montauk Cole County line so if you live there you know what I'm talking about right <laughs> along the Montauk Cole County line let's take it back to live Doppler 8 first alert radar here real quick Lindsay uh, we'll zoom in on the Montauk Cole County area we're talking about the area Area, extreme northwest Cole County. In fact, right around uh, Wilton uh, and uh, Oldham, just south of Ashland here, and uh, really the uh, circulation is going to be located right around uh, 179 there as it gets ready to go on into Hartsburg. So again, if, if you know of anyone that works in Jefferson City or Columbia that's going to be traveling on Highway 63, tell them to, to stay where they are. Tell them to work a little overtime here on a Friday evening and uh, stay safe uh, because the, this circulation is going to be crossing over on into Hartsburg and really Highway 63 coming up over the next 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, just make sure we're all on the same page there that everything moves off to the east and we'll be moving into extreme southern Boone County here coming up in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Hail, uh, yeah, you're going to have a lot of that, especially north of this storm. And again, if you hear tornado sirens in Columbia, you're going to be okay. It's for the southern part of Boone County. There is not 
there is not an immediate <coughs> threat for tornadoes in the city of Columbia. We're talking between Ashland and Jefferson City. That's where our threat is for tornadoes. So uh, Hartsburg, Wilton, and eventually we're going to skip ahead over into New Bloomfield. You need to kind of be on the lookout here for storms that will be moving into your area. The hail, the largest hail that we have is going to be right there between Wilton and Hartsburg. That's egg-sized hail. So, and I think Michelle had mentioned earlier here that um, we had, what, tennis ball-sized hail? So that's going to cause a lot of problems. Uh, one, one more uh, interesting feature here, or one more interesting uh, factoid, is that uh, at 520, so two minutes ago, um, in Elston, uh, which is going to be across extreme northern Cole County, Spotter, uh, lo uh, he observed actually a very quickly rotating wall cloud. So it's going to be right around Hartsburg here. And uh, also in that same area, we've had reports of um, golf ball sized hail relayed by the uh, highway patrol. That would be uh, Troop F. Uh, out of the Missouri State Highway Patrol right around uh, Cole County and Marion. So again, we have the hail out there. Rotation continues to be centered in Hartsburg. If you live in Hartsburg, you need to uh, really make sure that your tornado safety um, plan is intact and you are going to go ahead and observe that here coming up in the uh, next few minutes as the storm moves overhead, Michelle. All right, thanks back to live Doppler 8 first alert radar and just want to kind of let everybody know that even though we did have the sirens going off for in the entire Boone County area the um, emergency management um, lady Zim she sounds the warnings for the entire Boone County no matter if it's just the southern the southern half or the northern half so that's why you might have heard the sirens going off in the Columbia area you guys are in the clear like we keep saying over and over here, the main threat is the southern half of Boone County. And right now, Ashland is getting pounded with heavy rain. Hartsburg, right now, as this system's moving over the top of you, that's where we have seen a little bit of rotation continuing as well. New Bloomfield, you guys need to be down in your safe place. Also for Holt Summit and just to the north of um, the Jefferson City area there, you can see a very strong system as this continues to push off further to the east and this is held together for the past hour or so um, as you head out of um, Boone County and head off towards Callaway County we're going to be getting like I said into New Bloomfield also the Fulton area um, Kingdom City is going to be picking up on some pretty heavy rainfall coming up here Mocaine um, you if they do continue this tornado warning and they are continuing to see that rotating cloud. Um, Mocaine will be impacted and so will Shamoy as this continues to push off further to the east. Nick, do you have... And they have picks when you're done, Michelle. Okay. Um, rotation south of Hartsburg and west of Claysville. And we actually have a picture coming in. I think, is Sarah, you got that ready to go? The 60 mile marker, 60 mile marker at the lake area. This is from um, Robert Bybee, and you can see about quarter size hail there. He says things at the lake right now are all happy. The kids are out playing in the puddles. So, uh, just a picture of the hail there. And again, you can upload those pictures to the KOMU TV fan page. You can twit pick them as well. Tell us what's going on in your area. Moberly also reporting the all clear. And we would definitely love to see those pictures, especially if you had the tennis ball size hail that we were getting some of those reports coming in from National Weather Service. We want to see those pictures. Make sure you send us, send them to us and you can upload them to our Facebook page and you can send them us, to us via Twitter as well. We'll go ahead and uh, go back to Live Doppler 8 first alert radar if we could. And still continuing with the tornado warning, southern sections of Boone County getting ready to push on into Callaway County. Um, they still have not dropped the tornado warning for Montauk County, even though it seems most of the rotation has moved out of that county. I think they're just gonna hold on for the next five minutes for both um, Montauk and uh, Cole counties as well. We will continue to see the southern section of Boone and also into Callaway County under the gun until 6 p.m. So we have another 35 minutes or so to go with this. And there's a lot of people in the path of this storm and a lot of people that could be potentially affected and uh, can see some damage to their property, especially since we have seen a rotating wall cloud. You've obviously seen the pictures that you have sent in to us. We saw it on the sky cam live. And as that continues to kind of rotate and move, we will continue to see these warnings uh, prompted. Eric, did you have some new information uh, for us? 
just want to show everyone what everything kind of looks like outside here. This is our uh, U.S. Highway 63 <laughs> first alert weather cam. We're looking south. And uh, also, just uh, some information here. Uh, we have the uh, wall cloud reported by a trained weather spotter on Old Hartsburg Bottoms Road just east of Grimes Road. So if you live in that area, I promise you, you know exactly where I'm talking about here, but it's gonna be in right around the Hartsburg area. So we're looking in this general vicinity, um, but a lot of severe weather, obviously, here off to our south, uh, mainly affecting Southern Boone County. Tornado warnings have been canceled for Cole and Montauk County. If you live in Cole County, and if you live in Montauk County, you're okay. Okay, the threat for severe weather has moved through. If you live in southern Boone County, though, the threat has not passed you by. If, if we can, Lindsay, let's kind of pan off to the left here a little bit on the uh, 63 uh, Skycam, and we'll, we'll kind of see what, what things look like here off to our south and east here. Um, but this is really where the storm is headed. Southern Boone County from Hartsburg and then points off to the east and then also across parts of southern Callaway County. So you're going to be under the gun here next. And uh, again, this is this is looking south and east here. And so this is what uh, what you will observe here if you live across southern Boone County. Of course, the uh, circulation is going to be uh, very impressive where you are. Uh, let's take it to our first alert weather cam we have at the Columbia Regional Airport. Obviously, lots of rain uh, out there here, but uh, this is going to be the closest we can get on our network of first alert weather cams to the um, rotation. And uh, again, a lot of dark skies over there. Have seen lots of lightning and, uh, of course, some, some hail in the um, rotation. And uh, again, a lot of dark skies over there. Have seen lots of lightning and, uh, of course, some, some hail in there as well. Um, but again, the, the big severe weather threat here, at least right now, continues to be for southern Boone County and uh, also back on into southern Callaway County here. Um, got a quick text message here from the uh, folks over at the Weather Service. Um, we have a tornado uh, that was located six miles south of Ashland, moving east at 30. This is Doppler radar indicated. So that means that uh, again, likely we're starting to see the, the entire storm start to rotate here, but this was at 525, so about, what, three minutes ago? Uh, six miles south of Ashland, moving east at 30. Nick, let's go ahead and put a storm track here where the uh, center of uh, rotation is. Let's flash up Doppler radar real quick here. So again, south of Ashland and it's going to be moving east at 30 miles per hour. We'll give you folks a, a time of arrival. Uh, again, we appreciate everyone that's watching and uh, again, we are very concerned about the uh, 4,500 people that are in the path of this storm. And that's what this storm track represents here. Uh, quite effectively, close to 5,000 people that need this information. And so that's why we are um, kind of preempting our five o'clock newscast to become a complete weather show here. But New Bloomfield at 531, Holt Summit by 540, Mocaine by 550, 602 if everything will hold together. And at this point, there's no reason to think that it, it will fall apart. It will be moving on into uh, Chamoy uh, right around 602 here, so about 30 minutes here. So if you live in any of these uh, cities, towns, New Bloomfield, Holt Summit, Mocaine, Chamoy, you'll want to go ahead and start seeking shelter. Go to your tornado safe room and prepare uh, for this storm to move overhead. So uh, that's kind of what we have going on here. Michelle? All right, thanks, Eric. As we send it back to the wall.